What's up guys and welcome back to LEGO Worlds. Today marks a special episode because we're actually going to be finding a brand new world for us to play. I think it's going to be pretty fun and pretty exciting to figure something out here. So let's just go to a random coordinate. We're going to call it, uh, oh, not that one. <laughs> this one seems good. Why I want to go to, actually just keep looking. I want to go to a new world is because I want to see new things and this looks good. I want to find a deserty area to you know, sort of figure things out. Now there isn't too much of a detriment when you, um make new worlds and stuff like we're not gonna lose out on anything we still have everything we had previously but now we get to adventure it with a new place so it's gonna be nice and cool and nice and fun so let's let into this world and we'll just re-begin our adventure like my goal whoa as we fall down whoa oh, this looks really cool i like this one already but my goal for this episode is to find a desert because we need to find the outlaw to go and get ourselves a nice and special, you know, um, white or black horse. Now this seems to be like a Grand Canyon-esque biome, so that is actually perfect. So let's um, go on over here, and maybe soon I'll start making videos on very spe specific seeds. I know people have made seeds in the past, or shown them off in different like Steam forum posts, and they're really, really cool. They have some really awesome ones that have like really cool stuff in them. So maybe I'll start making videos on those kind of things too. Well, let's just sort of start flying around, because this is a biome we're not actually too familiar with. Oh, we might have already found one. That would be awesome if we have. This guy is definitely new. Hey, buddy. ha ba ha ba yep. ba <laughs> oh, Almost down. There we go. We've got him. All right, let's go and get him ready. And where is he? He's here. And this is the LL. Okay, so we can go like that and then get the black horse. Call him over. Here he is. Hey, buddy. How are you? Woohoo! And there we go. There's yet another animal down. We still need to find the brown cow and the brown bull. So there are two animals I'm going to be looking for. Cactus! Yes, get the cactus. <laughs> okay, then. So maybe we can make a bit of a desert area here today. I was thinking about something like that. There's some cool plants and stuff in this area, though. I really like. Here we go. Get all that kind of stuff. Ooh! No, that's a cowgirl. I think I have that already. Might as well, might as well hop off and figure out. Yep. <laughs> She's all waving to me like, howdy, stranger. What kind of brings it to these pots? <laughs> All right then, so let's just keep running more um, cowboys and stuff. But this is a perfect flat land to start making some, uh, you know, like some cowboy houses. Now I know that we have like one saloon, so that would be nice to start off with, but this, this is really cool. I love the arches and everything. So let's start with that. If we go over here, and then we go into the, uh, I think it would be into the brick builds. Yeah, here we go. This is a Wild West building. So if we go like this, we can start placing this here. Let's uh, also get this guy on. If, um, excuse me, I want some info. All right, it's not giving me the info, but we can rotate it. So if we want to find a better spot for it, I think that here will be good for it. Ready? And place. And it's going to do its thing. Going to take its time. Oh, wait, here it goes. <laughs> I always forget that I have to hold the mouse down or it just won't work. But now we're doing it. And maybe we'll build a few of these and try to build, like, a few different saloons. We'll make, like, a western town. I wish that we could have, like, different ones, but maybe we can stylize them to make them their own building. Maybe we can make, like, one red and the other one blue or something like that. Because <laughs> that's very western. But either way, like, let's try it. Um, I think it would be over here. Uh, what is this one? This one's painting. So, not exactly what I want. I can go like, hello! <laughs> I don't know if I want to paint like that. Um, let's go to this one. Yeah, this is the one I want, I think, so that we can paint specific areas and specific, specific things. So maybe we can make this like a slightly different color and just paint this up just like that and make it like a darker toned house. That's pretty cool. <laughs> we can just make it all one color, a boring house, but that's okay. We just want it to look different, you know? We'll get, make it look nice and fresh. The windows get painted, which I don't like. It shouldn't paint the windows, seeing how they're a transparent texture, but that's happening. <laughs> that's not a professional build, I can tell you that much. Oh boy. Well, I just wanted this town to look a little different here with two different buildings. Maybe we could cut, put some cool stuff inside of them, too. Let's fill this all up. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, good enough, good enough indeed. This is the hidden building. <laughs> you don't get to see what's inside. You have to go inside and brave the chances of whatever may be in there. And when, what are we gonna put in here? Maybe we can put like dangerous stuff in here. Cause I found out in the last episode that we can spawn stuff in, of course, but we can also, um, oh, yep, I can just like put a little husky here. <laughs> All right then, and I can also put people in here so I can put the woof and then the m <laughs> this guy. <laughs> so now they're together. They're best pals, they live in this little house. Alrighty then, and we could probably put some props in here too, if we want to find anything cool. I don't know what I, oh, no, I always hate that. I'm trying to scroll down it. Okay, let me use the little mouse wheel. That might be easier. Hmm, what could we put in here? Hmm, we got so much, yet so little. It's all like plants and stuff, so it's not too helpful to have. 
But maybe we could like put some fencing outside. We could put a satellite so they can get that TV. <laughs> All right, then let's put some stuff outside then as our horse desperately tries to make his way over to us. So it's like, we're over. Hey, you're riding my, get off my horse. This lady is hijacking my horse. You want to fight? Let's fight. Oh, nobody hijacks my horse. Alrighty then. So we want, um, let's get a cactus out here. Let's get this cactus right over here. And then another one way over here. And then we're going to go back and we're going to get some fencing out here. Now, I don't want the creepy, creepy fencing. I just want simple, nice fencing like this. At least these um, props aren't too expensive, though. So we can do this, and we can just be like, Oop. and then maybe, okay, yeah, like this. Oh, it's a little hard to angle up correctly. I don't think it'll let us. Oh, we can do that. And then there's a little walkway here. Cool, and now we got this going on, and they have a little fenced-in yard. <laughs> cool, well, why don't we make pathways, too? I wanna mess like, just like with smaller stuff like that will always be helpful to mess with the be and the no. So it's like if we go to the painting and then let's try a square instead of a circle, that might help us. And then we'll make the path like, hmm, this color will be good. So we can go like this, maybe make it a little smaller and then start pathing it up here. Yep, just like that. <laughs> It'd be easier if I could go in a straight line, but apparently I can't. Oh boy, yeah, let's try. <laughs> it's tough to go in a straight line with it. It doesn't really like you doing that. Hmm. But let's just go off this way. Yeah, it does. Wow, it's really weird. It's like no straight lines for you, buddy. The where the Legos does not support that. I guess it's because of some of the Lego pieces and how they they are shaped. I'm not sure. But there we go. We got another cactus for some reason. And then we'll make a path to this one. Then we'll maybe, maybe we'll make like a big town hall. We'll make like a desert town. Let's fill this up. No, it won't let me. All right, then we're going off this way then. <laughs> because we have these big large pieces and it wants to color the entire piece. So what if I do soft paint. Um, I think it's still the same deal, unfortunately. I think it's all still, yep, it's still the same deal. All right, then let's undo that. And then maybe like over here, we'll make like another building. So let's go over, yep, to this one. And then ba-boom, and then scroll on down. No, no, I don't want a gigantic tree. Stop that, stop that right now. <laughs> you are disobeying me. All right then, and what will be our town hall? A cottage, or we can make like a tower. Uh, ooh, let's do the cottage. <laughs> Our fancy, the, the fancy town hall. All right, then build this away, Mr. Outlaw. <laughs> okay then, so we're making a little desert town. I love it. <laughs> so what's in this one? Let's adventure this. I've never seen this one before, so maybe it has some cool stuff waiting for us. Ground character, I know how to move my ground character. Don't tell me. All right then, ooh, this is nice. <laughs> I could get used to living here. Maybe this will be my house. Cool, cool, cool. And they got some shelving. A lot of cool stuff in here. Maybe we should spruce it up with some plants. Oh, maybe we could put a pyramid in the desert too. All right then. Um, go over here, and then a nice bed. Oh man, this is this is the high life. I'm loving this. <laughs> could get used to living in a zebratastic abode like this. But let's um, get ourselves some more ferns and stuff, or something similar. Like this is all big stuff. So if we keep scrolling down, though, we can find some of the smaller stuff. Oh no, I think we need to go to the props. I'm in the wrong thing. So if we go in here, maybe we can find like some nice potted plants, maybe? Probably not. <laughs> no home decor around here. All right, here's one. So we can place this like over here, if it'll let me. Yep, just like that, a little potted plant. It's sort of hanging off the side, but that's okay. I didn't say it had to be tidy. Maybe over here by the bed where there's a second fireplace. Now that is a highlight thing. <laughs> you don't see two fireplaces in one house most normally. Oh no, I'm stuck. Oh no, somebody help me. We gotta get the, the diving board. Outside of every home needs to be a diving board. No matter where you are, the winter biome, the desert biome, it does not matter. In the middle of a volcano, you need to have your diving board. And finally, um, hmm. Let's uh, see. It's a gravestone. I don't think I'll be living large with a gravestone outside my house. Okay, that seems to be about it. So we'll just continue being stuck, I guess. Let's just get something in our uh, movement thing so that we can move out of here. There we go. Nope, I'm still stuck. Uh, help me, help me. I need to uh do the thing where I'm stuck. I need to fly back down. Ready, refresh. And okay, I started right from above, so I'm not too worried. I was like, oh no, will this make me lose? Oh, if you hold spacebar, you can dive down super quick. Ah! <laughs> That is so cool. So now different outlaws and cowboys can come and live here and they can just hang out in our little town here. This is pretty cool. Is the wolf still in here or did they skedaddle? They probably skedaddled. 
Yeah, yeah, there, oh wait, the wolf, oh, no, the, the, the Wolfenstein man, whatever his name is, is still there, <laughs> but everybody else is gone. Oh, there's some trees, I, I think we've seen those trees, maybe, I'm not sure. By the way, it's still so cool to run around and just create things like that, just on the fly, you know what, I'm gonna create this, and I'm gonna create that, and then I'm gonna create more of that. <laughs> Alright then, so maybe, oh, you know what would be really cool? Here, if we get like one of those arches, which we definitely have some in our inventory, I saw them. So if we get one of those... And then we build it like arching over our house. <laughs> our town square house. No, stop that. Oh, that is so unintuitive. All right, yeah, this is what I want though. Oh, I didn't want to place that tree. Oh, well, <laughs> that tree's there now. Oh no, this might not be big enough. Can I increase the size of this? I don't think I can. Uh, what is this? This is auto build, so I guess it instantly builds it. We'll at least put it like over here so that it arches over the doorway. Yeah, like that. Um, where to go? Oh, he's building it. <laughs> okay. And hopefully this works. Oh, he's building it crazy, too. It goes just quick build, quick build. All right, that looks really cool. I like that a lot. I wish you could change the size of these things, but you can't, unfortunately. Ah, oh gosh, everybody's screaming. Stop the screaming. Stop it. Shut up. <laughs> what was that about? Um. All right, then. who's fighting who here? Oh, no. Oh, oh, he's juggling him. He's got that juggle going on. Stop the madness. Shut up. Ah. <laughs> What a noisy guy, what a noisy guy indeed. With that being said, why don't we hop on our horse and get out of here as an outlaw? I <laughs> love his mustache, it's so cute. All right then, so let's get out of here though. Let's find some new things, new plants and stuff. I don't think we found these yet. No, we haven't, okay. I'm so excited that we found the outlaw on the black horse so easily though, that was really nice. We just need to keep doing that because if we can just keep finding stuff that quickly, we'll have everything we need very soon. Like, we just need those brown cow, brown bull, and then that's about it. We're really wrapping up the creatures at the least. Whoa! Okay, for a second he looked green instead of yellow because of the shadowing. I thought he was a zombie cowboy. I was about to get really excited. <laughs> oh, well. Maybe one day we'll run into a zombie cowboy, but not today. <laughs> you never know what they might update to this game, though. That's the exciting thing. It's like, you never know, like, tomorrow we might have a huge update, and that's like a bunch of new stuff. You never know. And then I'll have to make more videos just running around trying to find more stuff. What is that on the canyon thing here? Is this a building? Let's check this out really quick. Is that just weirdly designed or is there something in there? Hmm. Oh, oh I guess I gotta get close up instead. I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, and then I'm back, back to this crazy biome. Oh, fun. We still need to find the zombie, so it might work out well. But I mean, this is our first time exploring all this because, like I said, it's a new world. And as you saw in the beginning of the video, you can put that world into your seed generator and you can get the same exact world if you're trying to find something that I just found. All right, let's get up here, though, because there's probably a good item in here. I know that there's, like, over, like, a hundred of these items, so it might be sort of impossible for us to find them all. And I can't see what it is. <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to show me. Um, what was that? Uh, go up here and then here and then it was a camera. Oh, that's really cool. Click, 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 click. Oh, I can't use it though. That, that's sort of a shame. I wish I could just use it to take like cosmetic pictures. I'd take pictures of you guys watching me. <laughs> All right, I still love the bazooka though. The bazooka's easily like my favorite because it goes bow. <laughs> Can never get over that. That is just too awesome. All right then, so let's create some havoc over here in the uh, in this uh, crazy tree biome. Maybe we can find the zombie finally. But I don't know. Oh boy. <laughs> this is so spooky all the time. And at this point we might start just making, going to new worlds from here on out. Does each episode go to a new world to see what cool stuff we can find? I mean, either way, if we start a new world, if we don't, there's this, no, mostly the same stuff. Who are you? Who are you? Are you an Indian? He sort of looks like an Indian with the with the uh, clothes there. That looks cool. Um, Let's check that out then. What is What biome is he from? I'm not sure, but uh, he is over here. It's actually a woman. It is a warrior woman, okay. Okay, that's cool. It was sort of looked like feathers. That's why I thought it was an Indian. But um, wh where was the outlaw? I want to be the outlaw this episode. Next episode will be the warrior woman. Where is the warrior woman from? Now I'm curious. <laughs> is it from this desert that seems to be slightly, like the last one was a canyon and this is a desert. Yeah, you can see because this one has, you know, like the uh, pyramids and the sphinx over there, which looks really cool. We got to check out the sphinx in a moment. All right, we're finding some cool stuff here. Whatever this is. <laughs> Punch it. Punch it if you don't know what it is. Ah! <laughs> okay. Yeah, cool stuff. All right, let's run over there really quick. Check that out. And, oh, the camel. We need the camel. I haven't checked out the camel yet. Go, 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 go. One more new thing it is. Ready and hop. Woohoo! With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, we're surfing the camel. <laughs> if you've watched at this point in the video, make sure to comment camel surfing. And I'll know that you've watched at this point, you know, to the end of it, and that you're a Zebra Tastic viewer. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.